I'm going to demonstrate how to connect both a camcorder and a DSLR to your computer for recording or streaming to Twitch, YouTube, Zoom, all that stuff. There are two methods. The first works with most cameras. It's with a capture card. The second method only works with specific Canon cameras and I have a link to Canon's website where it shows every camera that works with the second method. With that method, you don't need a capture card at all. I'm going to demonstrate both. For method one, you will need a camera, a computer, a capture card, and an HDMI cable. Now, which type of capture card should you buy? This is gonna sound a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible. Which capture card you need depends on the resolution and frame rate of your camera. And if you want an internal or external capture card. Internal capture cards like this connect directly to your motherboard and external capture cards like this one connect by a USB port. If you have a laptop, then you have to get an external capture card. So for example, this Canon Vixia HFR800 camcorder records in 1080p 60 frames per second. So I can use this Elgato HD60S, which is designed for capturing 1080p 60 frames per second. You can also use an Elgato Cam Link. There are a bunch of cheap no-name capture cards on Amazon that cost like 25 bucks, but I can't vouch for the quality of any of those myself. But I'll link to some reviews of some people that have reviewed those cheaper capture cards. Now for anything higher than 1080 60 like 4K, you're going to need a 4K capture card. So you can use something like the Elgato 4K 60 Pro or the Avermedia Live Gamer 4K, also known as the GC573. I have multiple capture card reviews on this channel. Just pick one that can do the resolution that your camera is recording at. The HDMI cable that you need probably came in the box of your camera. For both of the devices I'm going to be demonstrating with the Canon Rebel T3 and the Canon Vixia HFR800, they both use this HDMI mini to HDMI cable. Now that you have everything you need, step one, set up your capture card. Every capture card sets up a little bit differently, but I'm just going to show these two as an example. The Elgato HD60S, download and open the software from Elgato's website, link in the description, then connect your capture card by a USB 3.0 slot. The Elgato 4K 60 Pro, same thing, download and open the software from Elgato's website. This one is an internal capture card, so connect it to the PCIe X4 slot on your motherboard. And make sure whatever program you downloaded, like Elgato Game Capture, is muted so you won't hear yourself in a feedback loop. Step 2. Prepare your camera to be connected to your computer. Lock in all your settings like your white balance and exposure now so you don't have to reach over and do it later. Plug your camera into a power source so it doesn't die. For some cameras you need a dummy battery to keep it on but I'm not going to get into that in this video. This is when you can change your camera to clean HDMI out which makes it so it won't display all your overlays on your stream. So on the Vixia camcorder for example, go to home, other settings, output on screen displays, turn that off. Then go down to demo mode and turn that off. You can only access this on this camera when you're actually plugged in and when there is no SD card inserted. That way you don't get that stupid demo interrupting your stream. A lot of Canon EOS cameras like the Rebel T3 do not let you do clean HDMI out. Don't worry about it for those you're going to be using method 2. Step 3. Connect your camera to your capture card. Turn your camera on if it's not on already. Plug the HDMI into your camera. So for my camcorder the HDMI mini side goes into the camcorder. Plug the other side of the HDMI cable into the HDMI in slot of your capture card. In whatever capture card program you downloaded, you should now see your camera's footage. Optional step here, connect the capture card to an external monitor. Plug another HDMI cable into the HDMI out port of your capture card and connect the other end of that cable to another monitor. Step four, use your footage in other software. To get this footage in OBS, just close the program. Open OBS and add your capture card as a video capture device source. To use this footage in Zoom, Skype or other programs, just open that program and then add the capture card as a webcam source. Now you're done. Okay, method two, this is for Canon EOS users. You will need a camera, a computer and a USB cable. Probably the cable that came in the box of your camera for the Rebel T3, it's a mini USB to USB cable. Step one, download the EOS webcam utility. I have a link to it on Canon's website below. Install that, it's not an actual program that you have to run. It's basically just drivers that allows OBS and Zoom to see your Canon's camera as a webcam. 
Step two, prepare your camera to be connected to your computer. Lock in all your settings, like your white balance and exposure now, so you don't have to reach over and do it later. Plug your camera into a power source. Again, certain cameras need a dummy battery. Step three, connect your camera to your PC. Plug the USB cable into your camera and the other side into a USB port on your PC. Step four, activate your camera as a webcam. In OBS, Zoom, or any program that can access webcams, add EOS Webcam Utility as your video source. And now, you're done.